Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly unbox the new Intel GPU and do some testing. So this is the Acer Predator Bifrost um, Intel Arc A770. That is quite the mouthful. Um, you'll see me take it out of the box here. It comes with a really brief user manual, a 32 gigabyte flash drive, which is fine, I guess. And then uh, the GPU itself. So I'll get it out of the bag here. Um, it does feel nice and heavy, so the materials feel solid. Definitely doesn't feel cheap like um, some models can. It's got a decent back plate. A lot of the, a lot of the materials are thicker plastic or metal. Um, it's got two fans. One of them blows air through the card and out the top, and the other one is more of a blower style. It runs on two 8-pin PCIe power connectors and has a full 16-lane slot um, PCIe adapter. Uh, in addition, this card has one HDMI and three display ports. Okay, so some of the initial test results. The first scene I ran was my um, diamonds test scene, which is a 100 frame animation with water reflections. Um, the Arc A770 did this scene in 149 minutes, which is about twice the time it took the 4070 and about 50% longer than the 2080 Ti. So now I'm going to start testing um, the Blender test scenes. So here I have remoted into the desktop. And you can see the driver version there. And I downloaded this software to make sure I had up-to-date drivers. But this is just Intel's GPU software. And I'm running the card at the default 210 watt configuration. And I'll test later in the video to see if it matters. So here I'm going to run the classroom test scene. And this video is sped up. But this test took 38 seconds. So I'll go ahead and record that. And you can see how it compares to some of the other GPUs. It's quite a bit faster than the 6700 XT with HIPRT turned on. So that was a little surprising. Um, the next test here is the barbershop scene. And this one sped up quite a bit more. This is a very intense scene. And this one took 2 minutes and 53 seconds, which is about 173 seconds. So again, a, a quite a bit faster than the 6700 XT, even with HIPRT turned on. And finally, the scan lands scene. I did attempt to run um, the lone monk scene as well, but it crashed, so I did not record a result yet. I'll probably do that in a future video just because that's another really nice intense scene to, um, to test on. Okay, so on scan lands, the A770 did it in 109 seconds, and the only one I've ran otherwise is the 4090, which did it in 20 seconds. Um, depending on the test, the results vary pretty widely. I did want to see if overclocking and giving more wattage to the card would help it, so I got back into the Intel software and turned up the power limit and added a more aggressive fan curve to keep the thing cool. Which, by the way, on the, the stock default settings, the fans are super, super quiet, and I'm not sure I ever heard them, actually. So um, running the fans a bit faster might be a good idea because I did notice temperatures up to 80 degrees. Okay, so I did I did test my overclocks, and I played around a little with the um, core clock, and it did not actually seem to help um, at all. So now here I'm just comparing the, uh, the same benchmark scenes we just ran on 3.6 versus 3.5 uh, versions of Blender. And in the classroom scene, there was a 24% improvement for the A770 versus Blender 3.5. In the barbershop scene, 13.5% improvement 
in render speed. In the scan land scene, uh, the improvement was much larger from Blender 3.5 to 3.6 with the Intel Arc A770 increasing its render speed by 37.7%, which is a huge up upgrade. Um, so really, I need to do a lot more testing because it seems to vary by scene quite a bit, but across the board versus older versions of Blender, um, Intel Arc definitely runs faster now in 3.6, but um, I'll have more comparisons soon to show you how this card stacks up to NVIDIA and AMD with the current software available. But that's it for now. Watch for a live stream showing more results soon. And thank you for watching.